and welcome to St Andrews. My name is Jorika and I'm a fourth year biology student. Hi, I'm AJ and I'm a third year studying biology. Staff in the School of Biology have been working really hard throughout summer to make sure that practical classes can go ahead. Practicals are a great opportunity for you to test and apply the concept you've been learning lectures into practical situations. Although practical classes can seem intimidating at first, they're a great opportunity for you to meet your lecturers. PhD student demonstrators will be on hand to help you with your practicals. The practicals are also a great way for you to meet other students studying biology. Asking questions in practical classes is highly encouraged. You can discuss your practicals with fellow students, with the PhD demonstrator, with teaching technicians and the lecturer. We're entering the School of Medicine through these front doors which open automatically. Make sure you put on your mask before entering the building. Also make sure to tap in using your card at the swipe reader to, for track and trace. Please keep your mask on when entering the building. We're just taking ours off for demonstration purposes. Also, when entering the building, please sanitize your hands at the front. Inside, there will be arrows on the ground leading you to the labs of biology. Please make sure to stick to your left as much as possible. You'll find the toilets over here. And if you keep walking down the hallway, you should see a banner for School of Biology at the end of it. Depending on the position of your surname in the alphabet, you'll be given an allocated time to arrive at the lab. Please make sure you arrive at this time. As soon as you enter the lab, please wash your hands in the sinks and use the hand sanitizer. During each semester, you'll be assigned a lab bench labelled A to H. When you enter the lab, make sure you sign a sheet to register your attendance. Make sure you also sign this sheet again when you leave the lab after your practical. You can then go sit down. In some labs, your seat will be allocated and it will be indicated on the, on the sheet by your name. In other labs, you can simply sit down at any seat marked with a green sticker. So sign in this track and trace form. You'll be able to store your coat and bags underneath the bench, but remember that you can't eat or drink during your lab, and please try and not use your phone during the lab as well. Also remember to wear your mask during the lab, but if you can't do so for medical reasons, remember that clear visors will be provided for you. Sometimes you will be asked to wear goggles during your lab. These will be provided to you during your first lab session, and you'll be expected to bring them to all your subsequent practicals. You'll be allowed to take breaks to get some fresh air throughout the practical classes, especially as they can take up to three hours. Just remember to keep on your left and help sanitize your hands when entering and exiting the building. When your practical ends, you leave through the same doors in the front. We will now show you the second year biology labs. After entering the second year lab, please make sure to wash your hands at the sink by the door. There will also be registration sheets, just one for the entire class, and they'll be located by the first bench. After signing in, you can just take any seat marked by the green sticker, and don't forget to scan the QR code to track and trace. Once the lab ends, you leave through these doors at the front. I'm a fifth year studying chemistry. 
Uh, hi, my name is Maya um, and I'm a third year studying molecular biology. We'll be navigating you around the Willie Russell labs and this is where the second, third and fourth year practicals can take place. Entering and exiting the labs runs via a one-way system. You'll need to enter through the doors facing the BMS building. The building is swipe in for track and trace purposes using your matric card. There's hand sanitizer at the first door inside. To get to the lab, you walk down the corridor and take your first right. When you get to the lab, you should see the lockers on either side. This is where you can store your coats and bags. You can enter the lab by the door between the first two sets of lockers. When you enter the lab, remember to come in and wash your hands. Um, remember to sign the register for attendance and then scan the QR codes for track and trace. The toilets are found at the end of the hall and around the corner. To leave the lab, you'll exit through the doors found next to the toilets. These doors lead out to the School of Chemistry building. Each time you attend the lab, make sure to bring the following items. Your lab coat, a mask, your laptop, a notebook, calculator, safety specs which will be given to you on your first practical. These will be yours to keep so remember to bring them to future practical classes. Um, and you could bring in a water bottle with you as well but make sure to store this either in your bag, in the locker or underneath the benches. For health and safety reasons you're not allowed to eat or drink in the lab so remember to leave the lab before opening your bottle. If you forget your lab coat, glasses or laptop in case of a computer-based practical, please speak to a demonstrator. They may be able to provide you with spare equipment, but this is in limited supply. There will be occasions during which you will need to wear gloves during a practical. Don't worry about bringing these in, gloves of the correct size will be provided for you. Try to avoid using your phone during practicals unless you're looking up necessary information. Phones can be distracting, lead to mistakes and are easily contaminated. Please try to only use your phones during your breaks once you've washed your hands. Make sure to watch any pre-lab lectures associated with your practical before turning up at the lab. These can be accessed via middle or panopto. Make sure you also complete any recommended reading associated with your practical. While in the lab, please try to walk around as little as possible. You can follow the arrows on the floor. If you need to speak to a demonstrator, please raise your hand and they'll come and help you. Shared equipment such as spectral photometers should be cleaned after each use. Using the cleaning supplies provided, a demonstrator will show you how to clean all of your equipment. If working with a partner, try not to face them too much and stay a suitable distance away from others to reduce the risk of transmission. Remember to also regularly wash your hands, especially when using shared equipment. We hope you've enjoyed this video and found it informative. If you have any questions, please email the member of staff who will be running your practical class. Information on the members of staff who will be running your practical classes can be found in your module handbook.